Hey everybody, I'm Zelda Master, and welcome to a new Zelda update video. So, it's been a long time since one of these, since we really haven't had any Zelda news since Breath of the Wild and its DLC. But finally, we had something new announced today. Not completely new, but new enough to talk about. As you may have noticed if you haven't seen the Nintendo Direct today, Nintendo has announced The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening remake pretty much because Link's Awakening did exist way back and uh, finally we are getting a remake too and it's a really cute remake I mean it's not like super um you know, detailed or anything. It actually has a very cartoon, old school style going to it, but it looks so beautiful. And it's actually for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, it reminds me of how, uh, you know, A Link Between Worlds looks, you know, with its engine, but it's actually for the uh, Nintendo Switch, so it looks much better, much higher quality. And I'm so excited to replay through this game and see Kohola Island in HD on the Switch, especially with this new, uh, you know, style of graphics like it's an interesting style it's definitely something Nintendo never really uh, done before with Zelda at least and uh, it's gonna be interesting playing a whole Zelda game like this but with how old the game is and you know simple the controls are and everything I think you'll get used to it like at least I will so I'm excited for it but uh, in the beginning of the trailer like revealing it, it was the final thing in the direct and that's kind of like the main reason why I didn't want to stream it I wanted to immediately get on any Zelda news that would have been shown and funny enough they showed it at the very end so it wouldn't have mattered regardless but uh, yeah they show off this uh, animation similar to how the opening would have been in Link's Awakening uh, you know they had like pixel art of it it wasn't really that you know good or animated but uh, they kind of recreated it into this beautiful amazing looking animation sequence that plays before it gets into the actual gameplay and then the wallpaper at the end where Link's washed up near Kohola Island it looks so beautiful so yeah I cannot wait to uh, re-experience this game especially that it's on the switch like I'm I'm so excited for it because it's specifically on the Switch. I don't think I'd be as excited if it was on the 3DS. I feel like with the Switch, Nintendo should focus. Even these, you know, simple looking games that uh, could work on the 3DS, because this could have totally worked on the 3DS, I'm glad they decided to make it on the Switch. You get higher quality, you could still play it on the go like the 3DS, but you can enjoy it on the big screen, which I feel like a lot of people will appreciate. So. Yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not really much else to get into. You know, you see some ga gameplay bits. You can see, uh, you know, Marin at one point singing and, um, you know, just like random parts like with the Chain Chomp and, and the Goompas, which gives a reused Mario characters, which I found really interesting. It's cool to actually see Nintendo stick to that. You know, they had the Chain Chomp before uh, in the old school Link's Awakening and they stick with it even in the remake, which, I, you know, makes sense for staying true to it, but I just find it funny how it's actually still there. So, yeah, I don't know if that was like a design choice way back, maybe limited designs or whatever, or if it was actually something that you just wanted in this crazy world, because, you know, if you played Link's Awakening, it, it would still kind of make sense why everything is what it is, but uh, I'm obviously not going to spoil it. For those wondering, though, I will definitely be doing a Let's Play on it as soon as the game is released, like, um... I have to, you know, this is a remake, so I'm going to have to play it. The game is going to look super beautiful. I'm probably going to play it blind, you know, experience it with you guys for the first time so uh, I can see how amazing it looks because, I'll, you know, I'll be able to 100% it uh, if the game is still exactly the same. I believe it has, like, areas where you can take photos. I'm excited to see how that translates. Like, will they have, like, animated pictures or will it be this... Um, you know, in-game style graphics because, yeah, there is, uh, with Link's Awakening DX, they had, like, uh, additional things within the game, and one of them was, like, this whole picture mode where, uh, a mouse took photos of you and whatnot. If you played Link's Awakening, you know what I'm talking about. So, I'm curious if they're gonna do that again. Um, if so, I wonder what kind of art style they're gonna have the photos be. Hopefully, that does exist. I'm assuming it's gonna be the DX version. I mean, this is gonna be a remake of it so it should be the definitive version of the game we will obviously figure out as time comes we don't know the date exactly uh, it just says 2019 at the very end but whenever that day is I'll be doing like a midnight LP immediately as soon as the game comes out I'm so excited just to let's play Zelda again especially something new Breath of the Wild has been in the making for so long and it came out and we kind of just you know didn't get anything new but you know the dry spell has been answered literally with so much water to where Link got shipwrecked so, yeah, okay, that was, that was it. 
good one, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'm gonna stop my rambling here. I just wanted to make this quick video, update you guys for those who may not know, and just kind of talk about it, give you guys my opinion. So yes, I will be let's playing it. Yes, I'll be updating you guys on anything new that comes with this game. I'm so excited just to make more updates on, uh, you know, just Zelda as a whole, because it's always fun to speculate, talk about, and just make videos about anything Zelda related. So yeah, I can't wait to see what else we get about this game. The release day, um, you know, just overall how the game looks and the dungeons and everything, because the lighting is so cool. It kind of reminds me of, um, what is that game? Uh, Octopath Traveler, which is also for the Switch. It, you know, it used pixel art, but it had really cool uh, lighting that looked so good for like a top-down game. This is kind of the same thing. It has 3D graphics though, which kind of looks like A Link Between Worlds, but then it has this really good lighting system that A Link Between Worlds didn't have. So, uh, yeah, overall so good looking, and I just can't wait to see uh, more of it and actually play it. But let me not ramble any longer. Uh, yeah, it's been a while, so I guess that's why I kind of went on. But don't worry. Um, you know, I'll be getting into more things later when it comes to these sort of videos and whatnot. But I'm just going to kind of end off the video here. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed, if you're excited for the game. And let me know what you think about the game in the comments below. I'd love to know your guys' opinions on it. I'm excited because, you know, I'm just a Zelda fan. And you know, I'll be real, anything Zelda gets me hyped regardless of what it is. And I, I want more spin-offs and simple stuff like this. Just give Zelda more. Not every game has to be like the magnum opus, the biggest, craziest game. I, I like stuff like this. And yeah, that anime looked so good uh, you know just showcasing it and everything it got me so hyped in general even though the graphics in game were very cartoony but yeah uh, anyways thank you all so much for watching I've been Zelda Master and I'll see you all in another video bye